everybody's confused. I'm confused, the devs are confused, the next guy is confused. There's a lot to talk about today and I hope you guys haven't spent no VC on your build because you might want to change a couple things after hearing what I have to say. If you guys are new to the channel, drop a subscribe, drop a like. Also subscribe, I drop 2K19 content daily. Well, no not, I do every other day, but I will go back to daily. All right, besides the point. All right, before we get into things, I have to say this. For fuck's sake, guys, stop linking me your prelude clips on Twitter and telling me, yo, agent, I can't believe this happened. I thought they fixed it. Guys, all right, I don't know how to put this. Well, I do. Prelude is on rookie difficulty. My guys, if you're making build decisions because you made yourself a 5'7 post defender and he was killing it in the prelude and you wanna make it in the real game, you're gonna make a mistake. The prelude, they purposefully make it easy. Just think about it. The prelude is free, so a lot of people that don't end up getting the game still download it. And because it's a lot of casuals downloading it, 2K can't give you a 60 overall, then put you on superstar or hall of fame sliders. So they put people on rookie and people start to bang their shots, hit contested shits, shove people out the way, like, whatever it is. So the second you start to see your player doing some cool things, you're like, yo, this is the build based on prelude gameplay. Well, go, you know what? Just do it anyway and then let me know how bad your mistake turned out. All right, we got that out the way. Don't make build decisions based on the preview. Okay, well here's where the confusion starts, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys remember a few days ago, Zach put out this post, producer for NBA 2K, and uh, he was basically telling us which builds can reach 86 ball control and which builds can reach 90 ball control. And that helped us out a lot, of course, because it can tell us which builds can speed boost and which builds can get the elite animations, or so we thought. Turns out that's not what they're for, apparently. Like, this is how it was for the last two or three 2Ks, so everybody just assumed it would be the same. Apparently not. Steezo put out some screenshots of Mike Wang tweets, the first one saying, 86 is the highest tier, but 90 will give you access to exclusive dribble moves, content that other Others can't unlock. This is what we assume is the way it was last year and the year before that. The follow-up was a tweet from yesterday saying, you just need 86. There's nothing exclusive to 90. Then you might be asking the very valid question, what the fuck is the point of putting 90 in this graph here? If there is no point of it, then why don't we add 91? Okay, right? Let's add 92 and 93 while we're at it. Hey, don't stop there. Let's add all the attributes. There was supposed to be a purpose of having it there. So now we're finding out if you made like a pure playmaker so you can get to 90 to do the special animations, there was no point. So you might be then wondering, all right, so do you get the animations and speed boost at 86? So Brutal Sim put out this video and shout out to him. I'll leave his link in the description. He drops really dope 2K videos. And there was a person who sent an at to both me and him on Twitter. And it was a video of his 82 ball control pure shot creator speed boosting. And you might be wondering, Agent, I thought we just talked about how we needed 86 ball control to speed boost. That changes everything. Mm-hmm. I didn't actually catch this tweet. My Twitter has been insane the last few days, so it's even tough to keep up with my mentions, but I'm glad he did. This is the clip of the player, and you see he got a three under his name, right? You see he got a three, and he's doing that momentum Jesus. to speed boost right there. So the three is significant. Past few 2Ks, the way it worked was, if you see this three by your name, you're either one, a sharpshooter or a shot creator. So it's not like he's a, Playmaker primary or something like that and then pretending right and even to show us a little bit more proof later on in the video in a separate link The guy showed us his attributes. All right, so here it is his ball handling attributes shot creator primary shot creator secondary ball handling And it's a little pixelated, but it says 82 if you scroll up a little bit to the three-pointer It shows that he has a 70 open shot three which is already all right But you could upgrade that to like a 75 or a 76 then it gets pretty damn good and on top of the shooting badges And you can speed boost apparently now nobody knew about this Oh, pure shot quit is looking like a pretty good build. Brutal Sim went on to say that he wasn't surprised that this was the case and a lot of people were making assumptions based on previous years. But uh, now, just to keep you updated on where we are so far, no longer do we not know what it takes to speed boost now, what attribute it is, because we just seen an 82 ball control player do it. But now we just found out not only is there no purpose of reaching a 90 ball control, but all you need to do is reach an 86 ball control to get those elite fancy animations. So a few videos ago when I put the 610 pure point forward in the worst build because it fell off so dramatically, if, if you could speed boost with that build, if that's what we're finding out now, that changes things. It's still not a good build, but I'll put it in the middle. It'll no longer be the worst. But that's not the only time we were told wrong information by the devs. So there was this Twitter page called 2K Intel and they were breaking the news on the rep reward that they called Born Again. They literally got all the facts wrong. I was reading it like, that's not what I remember hearing. How are we hearing two different things? So I hit up the source that gave them the information and he said he heard directly from the same dev 
that told me in my video something completely different. So I was like, yo, the dev told him one thing and then me another thing. And I was just confused which one of us are right. The situation escalated because although the tweet is deleted now, Ronnie2k replied to that tweet from 2k Intel and said, yo, where the f are you guys getting your facts from? That's wrong. And I was like, what? What is happening right now? Because if you remember about a week ago when I was breaking down all the stuff I learned at the 2K event, I was telling you guys exactly what I heard. And in that video, I got a fact wrong. But it was what I was told from a dev who apparently also got the fact wrong. I was told this. I was told, once you reach Born Again, you can create a second build and it'll accelerate him to 90 overall so you don't have to do all that grinding. And on top of that, you would get a million VC. That's what I was told. Apparently, the actual fact was that you would get 1.5 million my points, which is like a currency used to upgrade your player. So he was told the one thing, the source, and then the source told 2K Intel, and 2K Intel posted the wrong thing. Then Ronnie2K was like, where did you hear that? And then I was told something else, and then I, even I got it wrong. So literally nobody got it right, even though we all got our information from the same dev. All right, so at that point, I was like, bro, I don't even know what to believe anymore. I was perplexed, ladies and gentlemen. I know a few people who have NBA 2K19 early, and they've been like finding the attributes and looking in there and there just to find out some more information. Because Mike Wang said that although we can't see the attributes for builds now in the prelude, because we can't go backwards, right? In the actual game, you can sift through and see the attributes, so it'll be easier for you to determine whether you wanna make your build or not. So this is basically what I wanted to tell you guys this entire video. If you haven't spent VC yet, I would wait to find out what your build is gonna be. Because although you can go on NBA 2K Lab and check out and compare badges and stuff like that, without all the information on the attributes and without that being comparable, you're kinda just guessing. And if you wanna be a casual player and have like a mid-tier build or a low-tier build or just guess, do whatever you wanna do at the end of the day. You don't have to listen to me. But I assume most of you guys want a really good build, one that can dominate and you can have a lot of fun with. And if so, then you want all the information possible before you make your decision. And in the past, although we thought we had a lot of that information, it seems like we don't. All right, so that's kind of where we're at. All hope isn't lost. Some people have been posting like really exciting or fun dribbling clips on Twitter of them in like 2KU or playing in the prelude. Who is it? Cole the Man put this dribbling exhibition out. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, someone explain to me why Twitter video is always so pixelated. Jesus, it's like we're fucking recording this video in 2004. Cole the man brings the ball up the court. Ah, it lagged. Hey man, I love Twitter video, bro. I'm thinking about dropping out as a YouTuber to do Twitter video full time. All right, we should get it. Cole the man brings the ball up the court. Look at all this. Look at all the shenanigans, man. Do you guys remember when everybody told us that like stamina was gonna play such a big factor this year? I even heard from somebody that all you needed to do was one momentum boost and it would take away all your all your stamina and I talked about that in a video and I was like in my experience when I played with Kawhi at the event It wasn't like that at all But anyway, it seems like if you're a dribbler you may not have had as much stamina as last year But you'll be all right, man You'll be able to do your dribble cheese burn the whole clock and infuriate the defender all the time. Don't worry about it So for all the exciting clips we've seen on the prelude We also saw some very cheesy ones badge plug put out this video and uh, we'll just let it play all right So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Safe to say that if you have a large wingspan and you know how to dribble cheese in NBA 2K19, you're gonna go pretty far. Pump the brakes, guys. If you haven't spent any VC yet, just wait, wait to see what you wanna do. If, if you really wanna create a build, then go for a safe build, like a 6.5 pure sharp with minimum wingspan, minimum weight. Everybody's gonna need shooters. Go with a pure glass cleaner, max wingspan. Everybody's gonna need rebounders. And looking at the badges and the attributes, pure glass cleaner is looking like a W. Glass cleaner primary, slasher secondary. No, 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 all the way around. Slasher primary, glass cleaner secondary also looks like a very, very good build, especially if you get to 99 overall and you get all those gold badges to Hall of Fame, deadly. So try and go for the very safe builds if you plan on creating multiple builds because if you're gonna make that build anyway, just start with the safe one. These other builds, you gotta experiment to get all the right details. Last thing you wanna do is grind to 95 overall, spend all that time and money on your player only to find out that there's a better player around. And you might still play with your player, but when you come across the better player, you're gonna be like, I wish I had that better player. All right, so that's about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Hey, guys, I hope this helped you. There's a lot of confusion in the air, and I'm just gonna stop reporting on stuff as fact, because even if I hear it from an official source, 
I don't know if it's true or not anymore. So we'll just leave it like that. Click on one of these two videos here, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.